Hello everyone, it's Miss Kathy here at the Sturgis Public Library. Oh, I'm just a tad little bit early. Maybe we'll give it a little bit of time and see if more people come in. Oh, I can see my hair is falling apart. It's gonna bug me. Try to tuck it in behind there, whatever. I'm wearing my crown today so I can be the princess of story type. Where is that hair? I'm on the wrong side to find the hair that's bugging me. I'm so glad you're here watching me fix my hair. You know what, we'll just let it be. <laughs> I made it worse. Anyway, hello. I see someone is watching. I'm glad you're here. Let's get started. Today is Tuesday, March 9th, and it is our preschool story time. So let's start with our opening song. Do you remember how it goes? Zoom, 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 let's start our story time. Zoom, 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 we'll sing and play and rhyme. If you want to come along, join me as we start the countdown. Zoom, 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 let's start our story time in five, four, three, two, I can't do that, one. <laughs> that was not a good one. Blast off! I am so glad you joined me here today because this coming Sunday, March 14th, is another one of those special days on the calendar. It is Learn About Butterflies Day. Well, the library is not open on Sundays, so you can't come in and learn about butterflies on Sunday, so we're going to do it today. We're gonna to see if we can learn some things about butterflies. Now, you might already know a few things, and I'm wondering if you've ever read the book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. If you have read this book, you know that before it's a butterfly, it's a caterpillar. And this book tells you all about how it goes through that process, the life cycle of the caterpillar into the butterfly. Hello, let's see. Lincoln and Riker are watching. I'm so glad you're here today to help us learn about butterflies. So I'm going to start with my first song and it goes on the flannel board. I have pieces that go on the flannel board. This song helps us talk about the life cycle of the butterfly to the caterpillar, or the caterpillar to the butterfly. So we're gonna start with the fuzzy caterpillar curled up on a leaf. So I'm gonna put my leaf on the board. I'm gonna put my caterpillar on the leaf. The fuzzy caterpillar curled up on a leaf. She spun her little chrysalis. So that caterpillar is going to leave my leaf and she's going to turn into this coating all over her. We're gonna put her chrysalis right up here under the leaf. She spun her little chrysalis and then fell asleep. While she was sleeping, she dreamed that she could fly. And later when she woke up, when she burst out of her chrysalis, she was a butterfly. She's gonna fly on over by the leaf. Oh, did you know that was the life cycle of a butterfly, a caterpillar to a butterfly? The fuzzy caterpillar curled up upon a leaf. Let me put my caterpillar there. Spun her little chrysalis and then fell asleep. While she was sleeping, she dreamed that she could fly. And later when she woke up, she was a butterfly. That is a pretty cool life cycle story, isn't it? Oh, I love to look for fuzzy caterpillars in the summertime. I don't think it's time for butterflies yet. That's why I was surprised that learning about butterflies happened in this month. They had a date for it. But when summertime comes, you can be looking for those fuzzy caterpillars. And then when they curl up, see if you can find a chrysalis and watch to see when it opens up, what kind of butterfly comes out. 
This kind of butterfly I made to look like a monarch butterfly. There are hundreds of kinds of butterflies. You might want to find a book or go online and find what different kind of butterflies there are. Well, I do have one more song for us to do about the life cycle, just to keep it in our minds. And I will sing the song and do the actions one time. You can watch to see how it goes. And then the next time around, you can do it with me. This time we're singing it to the tune of Pop Goes the Weasel. I spin and spin my chrysalis. I go to sleep inside. When I wake up, open my eyes. I have changed. I'm a butterfly. Did you see how that went? We rolled our chrysalis. You roll your hands around like the chrysalis. You're going to go to sleep. I forgot to close my eyes. So when you go to sleep, you close your eyes. And then when you wake up, you stretch. You have changed because you're a butterfly and you're flying around. Let's see if you can help me with it. Here's how it goes. I spin and spin my chrysalis. I go to sleep inside. When I wake up, I have changed. I'm a butterfly. Good job. Well, now that we know our caterpillar has turned into a butterfly, gone through that life cycle process, I'm going to put that one away. And I have a rhyme on the flannel board that has the different colors of butterflies. Butterflies are amazingly colorful. My butterflies don't have lots of colors on them. They just have one color. And in our poem, there are the rhyming words to help us figure out what color the butterfly is. I'm going to pull my butterflies out so I have them in front of me because I can reach them better that way. And it goes like this. I was going to let you know, I found this rhyme this poem on the Perry Public Library. It was one of their stories or flannel boards that they did in their Butterfly Story Hour. So thank you to Perry Public Library for posting this online so we could do it. Okay. The first to come to the garden bed is a lovely butterfly of, can you tell what color it is? It rhymes with bed. Is it blue? No, blue and bed don't rhyme. Red, it's the butterfly of brilliant red. The first to come to the garden bed is a lovely butterfly of brilliant red. So we'll put our red butterfly up there. Okay, let's see if you can guess this next color. Then in, then in comes another and that makes Two. What color is going to rhyme with the word two? Let's see, we have purple, we have yellow, we have orange, we have red, we have blue. Ooh, did you hear it? Then in comes another, and that makes two. Fly right in, my friend of blue. Yes, we'll put our blue butterfly up there. Now, here's our next color. The garden is fine, the best I've ever seen, says the butterfly of the coolest. What color rhymes with seen? I hear you, you're out there telling me the butterfly is going to be green. There it is. This garden is fine, the best I've ever seen, says the butterfly of the coolest green. Let me put the green butterfly up here. We have red, we have blue, we have green, but we need another color. Our garden needs a sunny fellow. Fly in butterfly with wings of purple. Hmm, fellow purple. They don't really sound the same. Sound the same, oh my goodness, let's see. Fellow, we don't have a brown one up there. Fellow brown. Oh no, they don't sound the same at all. Our garden needs a sunny fellow. Fly in butterfly with wings of, yes, 
yellow. We need our yellow butterfly. Fly up there. Yellow butterfly. Oh, I'm holding your antenna. I shouldn't be doing that. So we have red, we have blue, we have green, we have yellow. We still have some more butterflies. Little friend. What color is this one? Can you tell? <gasps> yes, purple. Little friend purple fly into this garden is waiting for our color like you. <gasps> there aren't very many words that rhyme with purple. So we had to make it a little bit different. And the same thing with my next color. There aren't a lot of rhyming words. So, hello. <gasps> yes, orange. Hello, orange. We've waited so long. Fly right in where you belong. Butterflies, butterflies, you're such a sight. Flying together with much delight. Oh, look at all those beautiful colors of butterflies. <gasps> and it would be so much fun to see butterflies in all those colors flying around. Have you ever been to one of those, it's not a zoo, but they have butterfly houses? I know there's one in Sioux Falls because I went to that one. It's fun to go to a butterfly house. And I bet there are butterfly houses in places you've been to. If you've been to one someplace, you should tell me because I'd love to go see more butterfly houses. Well, did you count how many butterflies we have up here? Because that's what we need to do next. We're going to count how many butterflies we have on the board. We already did the colors. We know they're red, blue, purple, green, orange, and yellow. But how many butterflies is that? Let's count. One, two, Three, where's my fingers? Three, four, five, uh-oh, I've run out of fingers. Six, there are six butterflies on our board. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, with my next rhyme, we're going to take the butterflies off the flannel board. We're gonna count down from six. We're gonna go six, five, six, five, I'm gonna turn my hand around. Four, <laughs> four. <laughs> Miss Candy can't count today. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time counting. All right, we're gonna count down with our poem and I wanted to let you know, I also found this poem. I wanna give credit to the right place. I found this poem from a person by, named Erin Lassiter. So Erin Lassiter is sharing her poems with us. I did add, she only had five butterflies. I did add a butterfly to this one. And if you want to say it, it goes along with the rhythm of the five little monkeys jumping on the bed. I don't know if I'll remember to do it with that rhythm, but let's try it. How many butterflies are up there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little butterflies flying in the breeze. One flew off, there goes our blue one, as pretty as you please. Now how many are up there? One, two, three, four, five. Five little butterflies flying in the air. One flew off, here we go, let's take the green one. One flew off, we don't know where. <gasps> how many are there? One, two, three, four. Four little butterflies flying so high. One flew off, bye. There goes the red one. One flew off, but we don't know why. Now we have one, two, three little butterflies flying all around. One flew away. Let's take the yellow one. Oh, she flew off and she can't be found. That leaves us with just one, two. Two little butterflies flying down low. They are on the lower part of the board, aren't they? Two little butterflies flying down low. One flew off. Let's take the purple one. 
There it goes. Where did it go? I wonder where that butterfly went. There is one little butterfly flying all day. One flew off. She just couldn't stay. Now how many butterflies are on the board? None. They're all off flying around doing butterfly things. If they were here today, if we had butterflies today, it's still a nice day. They might like to fly around, but later today, it's not going to be butterfly weather, it doesn't sound like. Oh, I can't wait for it to be warm all the time. I have seen my first robin. Robins usually mean springtime, and we're still in the season of winter. Those poor robins are going to be so surprised later on today when it snows instead of being sunny. But enough of that. I want to think about the warm butterflies. And I have one more. It's not really a song. It's more of a poem. It's one we have done before and we've changed the words. We've done lots of fun rhyming with it. I know you will figure it out as soon as I get started. And to do this one, I'm going to put on my butterfly ring. I have made a little ring into a butterfly using paper, I got scrapbook paper, and one of those chenille stems, and it'll fit right on my finger so I can make my butterfly move. Now, guess what? This is your craft and your grab and go bag today. So after I do the song, I'm going to show you how to put it together so you can do one. Actually, I'm sending home two of them for you to do in your grab and go bag. Okay. We're gonna do lots of fun rhyming and this butterfly is going to go on lots of places on our body. It starts out like this. Bibbity bobbity ban, oh, it is a song. Bibbity bobbity band, a butterfly sat on my hand. Bibbity bobbity bip, a butterfly sat on my, you can't see it, but he's going to my hip. <gasps> this is like the Willoughby Wallaby song, but we have the butterfly. Bibbity bobbity bed. Oh, where's this butterfly gonna go? A butterfly sat on my head. <gasps> there it is, right on top of my head. Bibbity bobbity boulder. Do you know where this butterfly is going? The butterfly sat on my shoulder. Right there, sitting on my shoulder. <gasps> Bibbity bobbity. Oh, you can't see this one either. Bibbity bobbity by a butterfly. Let's see if I can get there. A butterfly sat on my, where am I at so you can see me? Thigh. <laughs> I can't find the right spot. Bibbity bobbity. Oh, here we go. Bows. A butterfly sat on my nose. Right there. The butterfly is sitting. Bibbity bobbity bummy. Where's that butterfly gonna go? Oh, that was so funny. A butterfly sat on my tummy. Bibbity bobbity bingers. A butterfly sat on my fingers. <laughs> there are so many other places. I put a few on the sheet in your grab and go bag. What if the butterfly landed on your chest? What if it landed on your toes? What if it landed on your knee? All these places on my body you can't see because I'm sitting too close. But you could have your butterfly going all over. What if it's set, oh, I'm not gonna do that one. That one's not a good one for me to do on, online. Let's see, what if I put him on my mouth? He's sitting on my mouth. Oh, you can have so much fun with your butterfly in the different places. And it doesn't have to just land on your body. We could go. Bibbity bobbity bear. Let's see. A butterfly sat on my chair. There it is, waving around. Bibbity bobbity babel. You can't see it because it's in front of me, but a butterfly sat on the table. 
What if he went on your couch? What if he went on your pillow? What if he went, oh, what if he landed on your toys? Be baby bobbity boys. A butterfly sat on my toys. Oh my goodness. Maybe the butterfly is gonna sit. Bibbidi bobbity bog. A butterfly sat on my dog. Think of all the fun places this butterfly can go in your house. Well, I said I was going to show you how to make your own butterfly. In your grab and go bag, you're going to get two of the chenille stems, those fuzzy little things, pipe cleaners. And I had, like I said, I have lots of fun scrapbook paper. So I took a couple pieces of scrapbook paper and I drew a butterfly on your papers. So all you have to do is cut it out. If you like this, the directions on how to do it, you could do it on plain paper and color your butterflies. Maybe you have some scrapbook paper at your house that looks different. So it, show, it tells you you want a three by three size, fold it in half, draw like a B, the big capital letter B shape on there to make your butterflies. I was having so much fun. I have a polka dotted butterfly. I kind of went crazy with it. I have this flowery peachy little butterfly. I have this rainbow butterfly. Ooh, he's really pretty. Now once you get it cut out, this time I have this plaid springy pastel Eastery colors of a butterfly. And I took my yellow chenille stem or pipe cleaner and on the instructions it says to put that pipe cleaner right put your finger in the middle of where the pipe cleaner is at because you're going to make your ring so then i want to twist this around to make my ring there it is and i never seem to get it even you can probably see this one's a little bit longer than that one but that's okay so now that I've got my finger in the middle of my pipe cleaner, my chenille stem, and I've twisted it to make the ring part, now I'm going to add the butterfly. Well, it doesn't work that way. So I need to turn my chenille stem that way. So now my butterfly, when I put it on my ring, it's going to fit it is going to fit, really it will, like that. Now I can't do this showing you backwards upside down. So I'm gonna take my ring off because what I wanna do is now I want <laughs> to wrap my chenille stem around that middle part of my butterfly. So I'm giving the butterfly the body. So here's my ring part on the bottom. I wrap the chenille stem around the butterfly to make the body. I'm going to turn my ring part underneath of it. And look, now I have little antennas. I can leave them straight or I can curl them a little bit. Put my ring on. And there is your butterfly puppet ring. <gasps> Bibbidi bobbidi bed. A butterfly sat on my head. You can make your own. There's going to be, so then if you wanted to have two, you could do two butterflies flying around. Then you can just do some butterfly flying and investigating and see where they land. Your very own butterfly puppet ring. Like I said, there's paper in there to make two of them, chenille stems to make two of them. I was having so much fun with them. I just went crazy making all kinds of fun colors. I know some of the bags will have the butterfly or the rainbow paper in them. Some of them will have this flowery paper in them. Some of them will have the polka dot paper. You'll just have to see which one you get. Okay, what else do I have in the grab and go bag? 
you're going to find, whoops, it's right on top there, the instructions I found on how to make that butterfly puppet ring, if you want to make more. You're going to have today's songs and our rhymes all about butterflies because we were learning about butterflies. You're going to have a list of some butterfly books we have at the library. Not only do we have The Very Hungry Caterpillar, but we also have Bonjour Butterfly, Fancy Nancy. <laughs> she looks like she's got her butterfly wings on. I wonder if she's wearing her wings while she goes out looking for butterflies. Then we have Velma Gratch and the way cool butterfly. This was one of